Yo, we back at it again. I just got done watching this Mavericks and Nuggets game, bro. That was it was a hell of a game, a shootout. The boy went for 38 and 13. Young God. Let's get right into it. This is where he'll make a lot of money. You get this uh, switch right here. Boom. Right down here. But when you look at it, he's already facing two, facing a double team. This is going to be fun to finally break down a player who gets, you know, on the other side of the floor. Boom, boom. He just takes his time down here. The old school post move. Pump fake, turn around. Mm. Pump fake, pump fake pivot. Knock him off his balance, but he's still 6'8 with touch. Luke is tough, man. Lucas tough and incredibly skilled. And he can do that? Woo! It's a long night if he's hitting that shot. If he's taking you down low, turning around jumpers, and hitting step back threes, you're gonna have a long night. Step back three transition. He's gonna make one of them. Here in, in transition, we got a double screen. Hardaway sets the first one. Boom. Another one. Step back, get comfortable, let it fly. If you look at this angle that he's taking to the basket, he has a direct line drive angle. The defender, he has to either beat him here to cut him off or try to meet him at the basket. In the league, what a lot of players are trying to do is meet you at the basket or what coaches call beat him to the spot. Instead of trying to cut him off, because defenders, uh, players are so quick these days, they'll just run right past you. So if he tries to beat him to the spot, Luca initiates the contact and just goes right over the top of him. Soft touch on the floater. That Jokic pushing the ball on a break. That's why his ass got plugged. He know damn well he don't need to be pushing that ball on the break like that. No, goddamn well he don't need to be pushing that ball on the break like that, Joker. In my last video, the Damian Lillard uh, breakdown, I told you how he likes to get his body in front of people and keep him in jail. This is a perfect example of that. Has he right past him? Right here, boom, right here he's beat. He's He has all the leverage. He could just go straight line drive to the basket. Instead, he gets right in front of him. See here, not a defender's trap. He can't do anything. He can't recover. All he could do is try to contest. That's a great play. Make sure when you when you when you have your defender beat, put him on your hip, keep him in jail. Make sure they can't get back in that play. <laughs> and on this one, he was trying to throw the lob to him. And ended up putting it in the basket. The kid gets buckets even when he's not trying to get buckets. Hey man, fate, fortune favors the lucky or the motherfucker that tries something like that. I don't know. Ah, look at this slow ass crossover. <laughs> He plays his game though. There's one thing about Luca that the kids could learn from. Play your game. You don't have to go 100 miles an hour. You don't have to do a whole bunch of dribble moves trying to be Kyrie. You don't have to do a bunch of step backs trying to be like Harden. Play your game, man. Play your game. Luca is slow as hell. Step, look, that crossover was slow as shit. But he got a little bit of space. Defender recovered very well because it was a slow ass crossover. But he had his space, help defense comes, he reads it. Mm. One, two, oh my God. That's a, that's a, that's a European step for real. Boom, boom, right through him. Jelly on a, jelly on a finish. Oh my God. Yeah, he's, He's, yeah, I need to watch more, more of this kid. Here we go. 
get one of those, get an Iverson screen is what, what we like to call it. In and out. Boom. This is an easy read though. If you're in the if you're if you're catching it like this and you have some momentum going into the defender, read his body. His his body is shading him to the left. In and out to the left, come right back to the right. It's the little things and how you get some space to get a shot off. In and out to the left, come right back to the right. One dribble. Right into a little push floater. He's got some skill. 104, 104, two minutes left. Why is Gary Harris guarding Luka Doncic? It is a mismatch. Get him right here in that post. Now they're going to send a double team, as they should. Now we need cutters. I need cutters. I need cutters. He got through that? He traveled. That's how he got through it. And don't get me wrong. Luka's a great player. He's made a lot of great plays this game. This one was a travel. <laughs> this one was a travel. But, look, you can see right here. Boom. Picks up his dribble. Left foot up. Right foot slide. And then he takes another left foot step to get into the paint. That was a super travel. But, you don't call it. You get away with it. Two points. We're up two. This was a big shot. This one was a big shot. First possession for the Mavericks in overtime. Luka has Gary Harris guarding him again. Catch it out here, face up three. I mean, the balls to take that shot in overtime when you're down three. Catch, face up, look at him right over the top. That's a Kobe S shot. Tie it up. Once again, keep him in jail. Pull up. This is simple basketball. He's not doing nothing crazy. Bring it up. Defender reaches. Crossover. He has a step right here. He has a step. Instead of rushing into the into the big man, you know, trying to create something out of nothing. Has a step. Boom. Slow down. Put him in jail. Right here. What are you going to do? As a defender, what can you do from right here in this position? He stops, he puts you in jail, there's nothing you can do. Now, this motherfucker can roll his ass to the basket so Joker can get out of the way. But, you know, that's where the patience comes in at. But for what we have, you put him in jail, couple bait dribbles, and then just a pull up. That's, that's really simple basketball, really effective. Jail him, seal him off right over the top. Up three, 40 seconds left. Once again, jail him, step back, dagger. Get him out of here. Start the buses up. Start the buses up, coach. Same thing. This time was off a high screen, though. You get a step right here. Put him in jail. Boom, boom, boom. Put him in jail, step back, right over the top. Kids. If there's one thing you learn from Luka Doncic, it's how to put your defenders in jail and keep them there. Boom. How to get easy points, man. Put your, Once you have a step on your defender, you get them on that hip and you keep them there. You don't let them get back in front of you. You keep them on that hip, you keep them on the backside, and then you maneuver out of that. You can make something happen from there. If you take a look at his shot chart over here, you can see he only made two threes, yet he still had 38. Every ounce of separation that he got whether it was pick and roll iso hezzy whatever he was putting defenders in jail and he was making the big man have to step up and and you know initiate something so you can see he got a lot of points right here in the paint a lot of points in the paint a lot of points on push shots floaters runners mid-range step backs at the basket that's one thing i love about luca everything's right at the basket it's nothing fancy nothing crazy right at the basket keep it simple Get some easy points. That was the Luka Doncic breakdown. I, I look forward to doing more of these because I love I love how he plays. I love his game. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Add me on Instagram, DT973, pushing our potential. And we out.